right now, Washington State is fighting off an invasion. And who's the culprit? It's goldfish. That's right. Goldfish. Thousands of goldfish have infested West Medical Lake and are now crowding out the native fish population. So how did this happen? The Department of Fish and Wildlife thinks that a few irresponsible pet owners are to blame. And while the goldfish they originally bought might have just cost the owners a few dollars, this mess is going to cost the state an estimated $150,000 to try and remove these feral fish. And this isn't the only place that this is happening. Goldfish are invading lakes and streams worldwide. And it's all our fault. If you think you're doing the goldfish a favor by releasing it back into the wild, you're not. Instead, you're setting the stage for an ecological disaster which could threaten hundreds of other species. As it turns out, goldfish are one of the world's worst invasive species. They were first selectively bred in China 2,000 years ago for food. But by the 14th century, goldfish had been promoted from our food to our entertainment. It wasn't long before pet owners helped them spread across the world, eventually reaching North America by the 19th century. They may look small and cute in your tank at home, but in the wild, it's a completely different story. Given enough time and resources, these little orange monsters will grow into giants, reaching as much as four pounds, about the size of an American football. These big fish are also big eaters. They feed on plants, insects, crustaceans, and other fish. But it's not just that they consume other fish's food. Their voracious feeding time actually kicks up mud and sediment, which can lead to harmful algae blooms and choke the rest of the ecosystem. And if that's not enough, they also introduce foreign parasites and diseases that wreak havoc on delicately balanced ecosystems wherever they go. And they aren't content just to stay in one place. Goldfish are a rapidly reproducing fish and will migrate across multiple bodies of water. Case in point, when a few were dumped into a local Australian river in the early 2000s, they eventually migrated to the Vass River, where there's still a major problem today. There are similar accounts of goldfish invasions in London, Alberta, Canada, and Lake Tahoe, Nevada. In fact, invasive fish species accounted for over half the total fish population in Lake Tahoe Basin. Besides causing fiscal and environmental disasters, there are other reasons you should keep that goldfish in its tank. For starters, goldfish are smarter than you think, which means you can teach them tricks like this. And they can tell the difference between Stravinsky and Bach. Can you do that? So consider the wildlife and think twice before tossing that goldfish away.